With the fifth pick in the FF Dynasty. Fifth. 2019 rookie mock it up so that you do not fuck it up rookie draft Casey Myers on the clock for the Hebrew hammers took DK Metcalf at one five great pick who you got a two five case well you know the first uh all righty then <laughs> <laughs> all right I got then. his team pulled up if well, that's the, what you're looking for no the first the first pick I, I took a home run cut on on DK um and the second pick um Taking another one. I took another one, and I went. I went Hollywood Brown. Um, this guy's team can, in my opinion, seemingly afford to take a couple of swings and and live with it, especially on the receiver side of things. Um, he's he's got a good receiving core. He's got Galladay, Mike Evans, and Odell is just his monsters at the top of the game at the at the top of the uh, chart for him there. And then uh, Calvin Ridley kind of filling in a little bit. You got a little cheap John Ross in there, so. Some some pretty good players, Devontae Parker and Moncrief, who are guys who are always just seem to be hanging around, who could catch a little buzz here or there. But you add DK into this mix, and then you take another swing on Hollywood Brown. Um, there's not really, like you said, too many running backs to stab on at this point. I could have taken a look at Damian Harris, but um, and I, I've Singletary's obviously gone, so I, I swung on Hollywood Brown, the first receiver drafted in the actual NFL draft. Um, well, that means he's going to be the best. There's a, right. That's Ask John Ross, who he has on his team, um, <laughs> which I don't think he was the first receiver taken, but a high, a high pick. He was a top um, 10 guy, though. But it's definitely a guy who doesn't have a problem separating and, and getting away uh, Hollywood. Nah, but at 166 pounds with a foot injury, two red flags, there hasn't really been too many players in the NFL that have been very successful at 166 pounds. And then you put a Liz Frank on top of that all a little a little bit concerning um well they're saying he's dropped weight because he couldn't work out because he had a foot injury right he's yeah. supposed to be a little heavier than 166 i yeah. think he maybe like a couple pounds right but, i mean he was 130 pounds coming out of high school and then he, he had to go to juco because he had bad grades he reported to juco at 144 and then has eventually worked himself up so he's been gaining weight but it's yeah. just it's it might not be enough i don't know now you put him in in this system where he'll definitely have time to just as DK in in the system that he's in, and I like that he's going to be the outside guy. And good luck covering DK Metcalf for an extended period of time on plays where that we've already heard them talk about how they just do kind of have playground stuff built into what they're doing. The Seahawks. Good luck trying to stay with uh, DK for an allotted amount of time down the field and on top same thing with Hollywood Brown good luck with staying with Hollywood Brown with a guy like Lamar who can move around and create a longer amount of time where you have to cover right. similar to obviously it's not what Kyler Murray was always doing in college like he wasn't just creating time to create time but similar player who can move around now clearly not the other part of this equation is is Lamar Jackson's accuracy issues not Kyler Murray not Kyler Murray's right. who was pinpoint accurate right. on the move and Lamar is you know a little bit Up hot and cold yeah. he walked into target and missed <laughs> yeah, that's the worst joke uh, whatever that's a Mitch Hedberg joke that's a great joke <laughs> that's a Mitch Hedberg. Hmm. but uh so there's rest in peace Mitch Hedberg there's definitely some some fun to taking Hollywood Brown I'm I'm down with swinging at him at this point here um I, I'm not going to really take him much higher um and I, this was a, the swing swing for the fences for this team back to back on, on his draft picks. Well, I, the fact that you set it up like that when we we're doing this draft, obviously I was paying attention to the picks that I was making for my teams, but I didn't realize when you took Hollywood Brown, it was on the same team where you take a DK. And so when you when you when you look at it on paper like that, you're like, wow, those are two home run cuts. And like you said, the team can afford it; it's got a good team, and one of these guys hits. Yeah, you, you want. I mean, he needs a running back, but there really wasn't one to swing on. Agreed, agreed. And and like you said, I mean, Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown, great pick. DK Metcalf, great pick for this team. Both of these players, if one of them hits, it's just like it doesn't even matter. Right. And if both of them hits, it's kind of starting to not be fair. Yeah. And so it's two great picks for this team. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Because I, he doesn't need production at it. Really, either one of these guys this year. Right. And that's what we were talking about with Andy Isabella, blah, blah, blah. You get Marquise Opposite Brown. Here here. Op you don't need him. Yeah. And he's just a luxury pick. Yeah. It's definitely a luxury pick, but I, I really like Brown. I think I really like him. He's got like a, a third gear. 
Yeah, he's fast I don't, I don't dislike him. I feel like he just has a lot working against him. And Lamar Jackson could not be the guy for the entire time over there if it doesn't work out. It's it'll be fun to see it. Um, but you know, I would obviously like a little bit better of you know. We saw jo- how John Brown, not obviously Hollywood Brown's probably a little even twitchier than John Brown. But John Brown was having a hell of a season, and Lamar ja- and or Lamar Jackson and it fell off a cliff. Sure. Uh, so mm-hmm. s- similar of a player that you would kind of use. I get that. I think he definitely is a little twitchier, and I think he ran a, a variety of routes, and they look good running them, and, and he's he's great at getting open. The vertical push allows him to get open on the comebacks and curls. He, he's got good stacking ability, and he keeps good position on underthrown balls. Oh, I mean, he's lightning fast. Through a it's... lot of pass interference. He's got that late separation that we talk about. He wouldn't We wouldn't be talking about him if he wasn't really fast at 160, or call it 72, or he, whatever you want. You know, Give right. him a couple pounds. He also, right. give kill, him a couple. <laughs> he also killed it from the slot, averaged 7.45 yards per route ran from the slot. The problem, though, and I don't know that you've mentioned it, is, is not only Lamar Jackson's accuracy, but this guy's hands aren't the best there's definitely some bad drops uh he had seven in each of the last two years ranked 109th in drop rate so a little worse than than the guys we've been talking to and then he also needs to secure the catch better there's several times you see the ball get knocked out of his hands on plays that would be yeah. touchdowns or, or catches if he did just secured it after the catch so everything from the hand size arm length wingspan is all very very small percentiles right. and, and you so, see it out on the field like he's not a, a great blocker he when he gets tackled he's kind of flying around all over the place so oh yeah it, i mean it definitely worries me about and, the longevity of this guy like him and lamar jackson could go out on the same play by the <laughs> same guy like <laughs> well not, maybe not the same guy but i mean a screen pass it, it could, guy well could yeah really rock both it could be a, like. a roll out deep pass and <laughs> lamar gets crushed You're and right. all hollywood gets crushed and it's all of a sudden yeah. it's rg3 of miles boykin which yeah. Yeah. right well, you guys have mentioned the speed a couple of times. Obviously, if you watch anything about this guy, it's speed, speed, speed. Our boy, uh, old Matt Waldman over there, if you play any Dynasty for any time, you start to learn his name. He's been doing this for a long time now and made a good name for himself. He t- he says he's never heard, seen, he's never charted a guy with the top end speed and the quickness combination. If When he figured, you know, hey, top speed grade, quickness grade put them together he's like i've never seen anybody that can do both like marquise brown um and take that for what it's worth he maybe maybe there's plenty of guys that could have done it better but his eyes said that and he's watched a lot more of it than i have especially this year so like well, you, i mean it, it the, he the compares speed, a lot speed and quickness is there he compares a lot to dd that you know the <clears throat> The, the similar wide receiver that played there at uh, Oklahoma. I mean, the stop and start ability is so abrupt. It's like hard to even keep your eyes on him sometimes. And then Baker Mayfield said that he's even faster than D.D. Westbrook, who I think ran like a four four two. So it's pretty, pretty oh, wow. elite company there. Dude's, but no doubt about it. But it's a fun, fun Silly swing. Fast it's Hollywood just what, Brown. That's like, his hometown, Florida, Hollywood. It's not just like a oh, okay. call me Hollywood because I, I want to be like good yeah. West Coast. It's nice from Hall- yeah. Antonio yeah. Brown's cousin, right? It could have been this was this was the like first receiver taken in the worst maybe fantasy landing spot, and you those combo two, platter those two oh. it's a com- it's both oh. going in Injury different directions and size and going in landing th- spot was all working opposite against direct him. first yeah. wide receiver taken first round it's two pick. magnets and boys yeah. are just pushing each north other and, far north and north like yeah. south and south <laughs> just just going you're like oh this is great wait oh man Marquise Brown going to the Ravens like it yeah. could be it it, it could be very very pull your hair out to try to figure out when to put him in sure when to when to put him in your starting lineup for the next year or two i will give lamar jackson some credit and i think he could take a step forward maybe getting an off season to himself stop playing behind uh you know frowny face joe flacco and not getting any reps all that good stuff and then getting thrown into like all right well let's we got to change the system halfway through the year because flacco's hurt and now you got to get out there and play but i think lamar jackson could take take a step forward i hope he does but it's still at the same time. This is they're, they're building their off. They paid a lot of money for Nick Boyle to be there to be able to block. I mean, Casey will tell you if they're if they're setting up a certain way, you don't expect them to. If they're if they're going to run the ball, and that's what's going to happen, they're right. not going to. Lamar There's, Jackson's not going to throw it five hundred. You'll, be, you'll times. be lucky to. I, I forget what it was, but I heard somebody talking about the uh, pass attempts for the Ravens last year and uh, eclipsing 30 once uh, Lamar Jackson was in there was almost unheard of. Yeah. And so that's probably like maybe you're seeing, you know, two to two to five, two to six, 
passes Hollywood Brown's way a game, which right. is, you know, and maybe a guy we'll, that you're drafting that high, you're you're you want to probably see more volume than and that. And when he takes one to the house, it's gonna be great. Oh, but yeah. But when it's like two for thirty, you're like, Oh, I wish he wasn't in my lineup. So great best ball pick early in his career. Yeah. And long term, he's got all the talent to be the best wide receiver in this class. It just got with the maybe the worst offensive scheme for him to get volume. His his quality could be great. Like you said, I mean Comparing it to Russell Wilson, obviously, long way to go for Lamar Jackson to be yeah, Russell just Wilson on the playground and but he extending could, play. Lamar could run around yeah. and Marquise Brown could be coming Get across the field you, and doing his thing. It could be it could be great, but it's just going to be a little dicey. All right, well, let's put a bow on Marquise Brown and the Baltimore Ravens, and let's move on to pick two six for your pleasure. Two six. 